Hi guys! I have teamed up with Fisher Nuts and they are challenging everybody to live life unshelled. You know, try new things, come out of your comfort zone a little bit. So today on Divas Can Cook, I have accepted that challenge and I am making and trying for the very first time fried ice cream. Let's go! Okay, we're gonna start with our ice cream. Use your favorite vanilla ice cream. I'm using a large cookie scoop. I'm just gonna scoop out 12 balls here and place them right into my muffin pan that I have lined with a little bit of plastic wrap. And when you're done, go ahead and place it into the freezer. Overnight is best because these little ice cream balls really need to be super, super firm before you start on your coating. But when you're ready for your coating, here are all the ingredients that I use for my coating. I decided to be a little bit different. Instead of using just cornflakes, I decided to use some vanilla wafer cookie and then I have my cornflakes here. I'm also going to use some cinnamon sugar and then last but not least of course my preservative free non-GMO project verified Fisher nuts. I'm using pecans here. I'm going to place all of these ingredients into my food processor and we're going to process them until they are fine crumbs. And you guys since I'm sharing with you my life unshelled moment I want to know yours. If you tried a new recipe, tasted a new food, anything that was new or out of your norm I want to know about it, okay? Leave a comment below with the hashtag liveunshelled and hashtag thinkfisher. You know, give me some more inspiration, guys, all right? Our crumb mixture is done. Now we're going to move on to our eggs. In a separate bowl, I have my eggs. I'm going to beat them just a little bit to get everything combined. And now we are ready to start breading our ice cream balls. I'm going to remove them from the freezer. They are super, super firm and cold. I'm going to first start by dipping them into this breading mixture we made and then into the egg mixture and then right back into our bread mixture here, just like that. See that? So very, very easy. I was very surprised. It was so easy, you know? Okay, now we are pretty much done. We're going to freeze this overnight. This has to freeze overnight, okay? Overnight. And then when you're ready to fry your ice cream balls, here they are, nice and firm. Everything's ready to go right into the oil. I have my oil already heating up in my deep fryer. I'm just going to place these right into the basket of my deep fryer, just like this. Then I'm going to submerge them into that hot oil. I only kept them in there for about, you know, maybe like 30 seconds or so. Really, really, really quick. And when they were done, I let them dry on paper towels just for a few seconds, not long. And then, of course, if you want to, you can drizzle them with a little bit of chocolate syrup. That's always good. And, of course, you got to have that whipped cream on top. And then to finish them off, I added on, you know, some little cherries. It was perfect. And now the big moment digging in. These were so good, okay? I, the verdict is in. I absolutely loved this dessert. One of my favorite desserts ever. Yeah, that's big. So thank you so much, Fisher Nuts, for letting me create for you and for challenging me to come out of my shell. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Later.